showing model Tasia here. Look at how grown up she is. How old are you now? Nine. Nine years old. I think she started making videos with me when she was like just a baby being born. That's how long I've known her. But um, I'm going to show you this design by special request. Everyone keeps asking me to show them this dragon using the arty cake. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, for this dragon, you can do it on a boy or a girl. Um, probably more popular with the boys. But I encourage you to go home, practice your strokes, which I'll show you in another video. But I'm going to be using the fire, um, the fire cake. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to create a really cool dragon with it. So what you're going to do is get your brush wet, and then you're just going to load it back and forth like you would normally. Um, I'm just going to be picking up a little bit of black for it. So I'm going to start off in the middle of the forehead making the head and just follow along so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to start off by doing one loop one loop pressing it down and pulling up so I went loop loop pull up now I'm going to flip my brush so the black is on the outside and I'm going to make a C did you follow that? so I laid my brush down made a C so that's going to be the head of my dragon. Now some of you might find this super easy, some of you might find it a little harder. For those of you that have trouble, just follow along and practice it. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead, go in and create the body. So I'm just going to lay my brush down on her nose, kind of bring it up, and underneath here, I'm going to bring it down. And at the bottom, I'm going to make, if you could turn a little bit this way, I'm going to make the little tail. So this is going to be the basic foundation part. Now we're going to go in and create the rest of this mask. So again, I'm just loading my arty brush. What I'm going to do is start off very, very straight. Head straight, loop. Straight, loop. And I'm going to bring that all the way around. Repeat on this side too. Sorry straight, lay my brush down and loop, straight, lay my brush down and loop. And this creates these loops which will fill in to make scallops. So now we have the real basic shape. So what I'm going to do is using my sponge and a little bit of orange and yellow, I'm going to fill in this mask. So I'm mixing the metallic white and a little bit of yellow first on my sponge. Close your eyes. And I'm just going to go in there and kind of just fill in this to create the rest of her mask. What a great model. She doesn't even move. I like doing this design better on girls because uh, they're used to me covering their eyes. The boys can be a little bit harder, but she makes it very easy. So I just filled it in. The next thing I'm going to do is just very gently uh, fill in the lid of her eye by adding just a tad bit of black. Close your eyes one more time. So I'm just going to kind of press in this black very soft so that I can give her more of the evil eye. I'm going to pretend like she's a boy. She's so kind. She said, I don't mind. You can paint a dragon on me. Okay, so I filled in basically the uh, design with, around her eye so that now we just go in and create the embellishments. So I hope you've been following along and you're ready to finish your dragon along with me. So what I'm going to do is using some black, I'm just going to outline this design. So I start on the top and make these little loops and bring it up. And I'm just tracing the mouth now. And this is an optional step. I'm giving them horns in certain places. And this is definitely optional. So I brought it up and I'm going to just follow it around and in the stomach make these L's follow the tail around, same thing so now I outline the basic shape and I'm going to create the same effects, turn a little bit this way uh, just giving the wings a little bit more so I'm going out, pulling it in out, pulling it in out, pulling it in I'm going to repeat the step on the other side. 
So start off straight, just pull it in. So you give that kind of webbed effect. So now for the finishing touches, I'm going to add uh, a little bit more highlights. I'm going to fill in this eye. And now I'm going to create this angry eye. Kind of give her those wear lines around the eye. She's so beautiful. She's no matter what I create on her, she always looks awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of white and finish with the horns and finish with uh, the teeth so we can make this kind of scary, intimidating dragon. So right on top, I'm just going to add some teeth in here. And I'm going to add some more white inside of the eyes and some horns on the nose and underneath the uh, chin. And then at the ends of the wings, you can always go in there and add mini horns. You could turn a little bit this way. So I'm just adding those right on the ends. And then because she's so beautiful, she was such a good sport, I'll still put lipstick on her just because she's my girl. And I want to make sure that she, uh, she looks really good. So I'm just going to add a little bit of lipstick on her design. And to finish it off, got to add some glitter. So I'm going to be using this kind of yellowish gold. So just close your eyes for one second and I'll poof it on you. Got it, everyone. And then, uh, that's it. So just look in the camera and just smile. Say bye. bye. Thanks for joining us. All right. That's it.